yes that I got to have those. the layers of being a woman <laughs> <laughs> all right so what's my next question oh what are your core values as a designer oh my core values as designing mm -hmm. i would say i like everything to be ethical so like i like things i mean my brand is made locally in LA, uh -huh. so that's ethical to me. Like, I like being able to see my sewers, interact with them, build relationships, touch the fabric, be there. I'm, you need me, I'm coming. So it's really like uh -huh. the relationship, and I take that on with my business, with my um, customers as well. Mm -hmm. Like, again, like you said, like, I don't like the boom, boom, boom. I like the, hey, I want to get to know you. What can I do uh -huh. better? Um, you know, like, how, how can the customer service be better. So that's another thing I'm big on with my business values, like customer service. Like I've been told of a lot of customers, like you have, a, you have great customer service. Like if something was wrong on my end, I will fix it. I will accommodate you in any way. So those are two big values to me. And then one thing I really like, I put in everything I do. Like I, I want to, me as the owner to empower you mm -hmm. by me and even by the clothing. So I want you to feel like you're in power and also like by me speaking life into you, you know, I want you to believe like I am the woman I say I am and the mm -hmm. clothes stand for that as well. Okay. I feel like your community is going to be like amazing because you just listed like everything what people look for in like a community when it comes to like when you, I know you mentioned earlier that you said you wanted stability. <laughs> that's, that's like everything that people like look for. I hope so. I'm like looking for it. It's just so hard. Like, I'm just like, where are you ladies? I feel like I've created like a tribe in New York, but like, I really want to find it locally in Los Angeles. And it's just really, really hard. And like being stocked at Saks, it did help me, you know, mm -hmm. for the New York ladies. I feel like my aesthetic is really more New York. I would say like when I first came out, a lot of people were like, are you from New York? I'm like, no, I'm based in LA. They're like, oh, wow, this is different. Like, <laughs> We don't see clothing like this in LA. And I was like, uh oh. So when someone told me that, I, I knew what they meant. Like, LA, the culture here, the dressing, it is so Relax. different. Yes. So I was just like, dang, I can't do my suit and boot it. No one's wearing that in LA. I'm like, okay, but I know women are somewhere else. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm praying. I'm hopeful that I'm going to find this community. I know it's going to take time. And I'm, I'm going to wait, you know, slow and steady. So I'm like, you know what? Like, God has a plan and I'm just kind of, I'm staying still. So it's coming. <laughs> um, all right. Definitely make sure you stay on top of your analytics and see where your audience is coming from. It's coming from New York and they say Los Angeles, but I'm like, New York. LA, where, where y'all at? I don't see. <laughs> right. It's a lot of business handling done in New York and a lot of conventions. I'm surprised Las Vegas is not like a little pocket mm. little audience because that's that's the number one convention area on, on the West Coast or like in, within America. But yeah, New York, it's a lot of business. You got a lot of podcasters. You got production. You have meetings, boardrooms. You have Wall Street. Like, another one it says is like for me, it's Houston. Houston, Chicago, and Atlanta. So I said those make sense as well. It's a lot of this East Coast, Midwest. So I was like, okay. But I feel like Los Angeles comes because I'm from Los Angeles and a lot of my followers, like friends, families, they follow me, but I feel like customers really, it's not LA. Right. So we're learning. <laughs> yeah.